organizations in the United States alone, why did these artists volunteer their time and talent to this humanitarian relief initiative spearheaded by composer-conductor Jim Papoulis and Foundation for Small Voices? The phrase, we will lift you up, it seemed like, I mean, to me, a hope is a huge, a huge element of life. And people, underprivileged people, people who are involved in disasters, they, they seem to not have any help. So they need something to help carry them, to, to lift them up. So it just seemed like a natural, natural title. Oh, 
This is a wonderful opportunity for any artist and any songwriter to really make a difference in any way they can when it comes to world affairs and, and tragedies. Unfortunately, tragedies are inevitable. There's an awful lot of uh, tragedy around the world. Well, Jim uh, called me up and he asked me if I would sing on a song that he had written. It feels wonderful to be part of this. Music is, to me, is a very uh, easy way to touch people. I thought of it as a great opportunity to sing for the children who have lost their parents and their siblings and their friends. Yeah, I'd like to see more awareness and hope and kindness. I think ours is like the, the paint of the world. So right now, we need to put some color in that in that country that needs our help. Bravo. And music is a great way of reaching out, you know, giving love. It came together like a, a natural, um, let's just say, everything fit like an unexpected glittering constellation. Stars aligned and people just pitched in. The, the people who were lost in, in the earthquake, it, it definitely takes you on an emotional ride because it could have been you. The idea of um, doing doing one song in many different languages with many different choirs and people from all over the world uh, is sort of a link. It just kind of links everyone immediately. The music for We Will Lift You Up was written by composer-conductor Jim Papoulis and the lyrics are by Jim Papoulis with Francisco Nunez, music director of the Young People's Chorus of New York. I pretty much express myself in the feeling and how I sing and how I, you know, express the song. You know, so it definitely had, um, it touched my heart and hopefully, and I see that it's touching a lot of hearts all over the nation and all over the world with this song, He Will Lift You Up. 100% of song sales are dedicated to humanitarian relief. We do lots of projects all over the world. Of course, people will buy the song and hear it on the radio and it will serve to raise public awareness and hope wherever it's heard in the world. To be able to perform it with choirs in, other, in various different countries. We do some concerts and, and uh, projects in cities that have had a natural disaster. It seems like a, a, a natural marriage there. I'm singing the song, and this song is going out to the world and it's helping other people. We did it with the Young People's Chorus, and we performed it, and, uh, and then the song sort of started evolving. We Will Lift You Up is the first in a series of songs that were donated to raise money for the Humanitarian Relief Song Initiative, sponsored by New York-based Foundation for Small Voices. Uh, fortunately, through my work uh, with writing music, I, have a, I can tap into basically any choir in the world, so I can go to you know, Dallas or Afghanistan or, or Moscow or wherever, and there's just an immediate uh, uh, exposure there with people that I, that I maybe have uh, I've worked with or that, that it's just so easy to immediately bring people together in a town. Chinese was the first language that says something about the world today. So you know what? If they can do it, we can do it too. It seems that people of all ages all over the world love the music of composer-conductor Jim Papoulis. This musical genius gives his all to young people. He seems to really have a knack to inspire boys and girls to feel confidence from a, a fatherly voice and bring joy to those in crisis so they can move on to evolve with their own peer group to make a difference in the lives of others. I mean, really, it's so wonderful what one composer can do to inspire children of all ages the world over, including young people right here in Boston. Uh, it can be a very universal idea. As you try to see if the light will shine. So let's start from yeah. the course. We are here for you, we're thinking of you, and if there is anything that we can do, even though we're all the way in America, we will. And we have not forgotten you. We will live.